And hello, Facebook and YouTube viewers. We're so excited to be here with you today. This is Tomorrow's World Now. We're calling it TW Now, a new show from Tomorrow's World. And that's a program that we've been airing all around the world on TV for many years now. And we're excited to have this new format, Facebook Live and YouTube Live, something that hasn't been available for quite some time. Uh, it's a brand new technology. Facebook's had it for about a year and YouTube a little bit longer. But we're excited to have this opportunity to come to you right now live Wherever you might be, you might be on your phone, you might be on your computer, you might be at home, you might be at work, you might be in Asia, you might be in India, you could be anywhere in the world and seeing us right now, which is so exciting for us to be able to talk to you right here now. So I'm here with my colleague, Mr. Wyatt Soselka, a pastor in the Living Church of God. He's here with me, and we're here to talk about this new exciting format, Facebook Live, and also YouTube Live, but both. We're simultaneously broadcasting on two very exciting formats to the whole entire world on the internet. What do you think about this really neat endeavor that the Living Church of God is doing through Tomorrow's World Now, this new show? Hey, Dylan. Um, first of all, I'm really excited about it. Um, I, you know, God has commissioned his church to preach the gospel to the world, and this is one way we can do it. I know we're going to talk a little bit more about, you know, the technology here later in the, in the show today, but uh, I'm really excited. It's a big day for us. Hopefully God will bless it. Hopefully those who watch it online will, will pray for us and pray that it will be blessed and that it can be effective. Yeah, right now there's probably 10, 20, 30, we don't know how many people watching, but you know there's a really huge potential out there for this technology. I mean, how many people are actually on Facebook these days? Because I know it grows pretty much every day, every minute, every hour, right? Yeah, there's, I mean, the statistics uh, change daily uh, regarding Facebook, but um, some stats that we looked up before the show, uh, there are more than five new profiles created every second. Uh, there's probably about 2 billion active Facebook users. Some you know, uh, sources say 1.9 billion, but those are active Facebook users. Um, in Facebook, we know it reaches people all around the world, like you were mentioning. There's something also coming out uh, which we're excited about. It might be an opportunity for us to reach people in the developing world, Facebook Lite. So. Facebook Lite's very interesting. I think there are now over 200 million people who've signed up for this, and it's a new thing that launched a month or two ago, not too long ago, uh, which is called Facebook Lite. And Facebook has developed a program that can people can get on their phones and their tablets where they don't need nearly as much bandwidth as we have, say, in the United States or some, some of the more modern developing countries. Uh, so people who are in Africa and different places that don't have the Wi-Fi and the bandwidth that we have in our countries can tune in and get hooked up to Facebook. And a lot of people have been joining it. So it's really exciting to reach different places that we've never been able to reach. Yeah, and what's really uh, exciting, and I think... Um, you know, we, we know that uh, media can be used for good or bad. We understand that. But uh, I think the church has to take advantage of, of technology and doors that God opens. And one thing that I've been tracking, I know you have as well, um, there are large companies that want to provide Internet connectivity to parts of the world. Uh, what's driving that? Well, you know, uh, the companies want to make money. They want to sell. They want to advertise, things like that. So <clears throat> there's a, uh, an article I just found earlier today, Alibaba big, huge mm -hmm. Chinese mm -hmm. uh, e-commerce, you know, giant company. Um, the uh, president of, Al of Alibaba is one of the richest men, you know, on the planet, just a hugely successful company. It's like an Amazon type company. And uh, they're one of the most recent companies that wants to provide free internet to most of India. And so just as an example, we see these companies that mm -hmm. want to provide internet connectivity throughout Africa, South America, Latin America, India, Central America. So we can take advantage of that in a good way. We can, we can use that as a way to reach people with the truth, and not just over Facebook, but also you know, YouTube Live and, and other, you know, the, the Internet in general. But Facebook and YouTube are two of the biggest uh, live streaming platforms right now, as, as you know. Yeah, and the world is really, really getting into spreading the, the ability of people to get 
the internet on their phones and in their homes. Uh, SpaceX, which is Elon Musk's company, they they have this effort right now where they're launching these rockets into space that are that have this Wi-Fi capability, and he really does want to get free Wi-Fi to the entire world so that everyone, no matter who they are, if they get a cell phone in their hands, they can be connected everywhere. And I mean, I think that has so some implications for us because we are trying to preach a message, a good news, because there is a coming kingdom co- that's coming. The kingdom of God is coming to this earth, and it's a hope. Because if you look around, most people, if you're alive today and you see what's going on in the news, you see what's going on, people are afraid because this world is getting worse and worse every single day. And Matthew 24, 14 in Scripture says, In this gospel the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations, and then the end will come. So at some point, the true gospel of the kingdom of God in Jesus Christ has to go out to the entire world before the end of this age or this era on this earth comes. Right, right. And, and so regarding TW Now, this show, one of the ideas is to be effective as we can, as effective as we can be in preaching the gospel. So, so you know, we're going to try to uh, be here every Thursday, right? Mm-hmm. Well, one of the reasons we chose Thursday is that Thursday is when Facebook Live is apparently the most popular. That's mm-hmm. you know that's something that we 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 looked at. Uh, Thursdays and Fridays apparently are when a lot of people are are, are on Facebook Live. But to your point, um, this is a dangerous world. News breaks fast, and uh, with this technology, we have the ability to react quickly. And if we want to address something, let's say you know Mr. Weston or or one of the other men. Uh, you know, we want to address something that's breaking uh, in the news. We could do that right now. I do want to to mention, and I, I think you know, it, it's worth uh, just as a quick uh, side comment. Um, you know, we've I, you got to give Dr. Meredith credit for this as well. A lot of people out there, um, they they know Dr. Meredith, Rod, Dr. Roderick Meredith, and remember, he was streaming. He he had the vision to want to stream live on YouTube mm-hmm. a couple years ago which was really awesome. And so we did some live presentations on YouTube, but what's happening is that the technology's growing a lot more. And so now Facebook and YouTube are, are struggling to see who's gonna be number one. Absolutely. And um, there's even other technology, which I find as a technologist, really interesting regarding uh, simultaneous and automatic translation. You wanna talk about that just for a second? Yeah, that's pretty neat. So if you go on YouTube right now, and any of you who's watching right now, you have a phone, you have a computer, and you can do that kind of thing. If you go on YouTube, there's a little beta th- program that you can push, and apparently it will start translating, or YouTube's computer engines will start translating something into a different language. I don't know how well it works, but the implications are so interesting, because here we are in English. I know I don't speak any other language. Now we do have people in our church all around the world that speak multiple languages and we use those people to help preach this message around the world but the fact that technology is going to start taking over some of those things and being able to do it for us is just super interesting right i mean we are commissioned to preach the gospel as a witness to the entire world to all the nations and um i only speak english you know a little (laughs) bit of a little bit of texan right Uh, but um so you know perhaps um that will be one way that god can help the church to you know accomplish that 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 commandment. Now, of course, we're not saying that God won't give us uh, the ability uh, to speak in different languages. Mm-hmm. Uh, we know that God will, will pr- give us, you know, miracles and healings, and God has. But um, things like YouTube being able to simultaneously translate us into another language, German, Japanese, that's pretty powerful. That will let us reach that audience. Yeah, it's, it, it, it's incredible. Uh, it, if, you look, if you look at what's going on in the world, another reason we really want to have a show like this, and many of you have been watching the news, uh, you almost can't avoid it. Just yesterday, there was a terrorist attack at Parliament in the UK, uh, and that sort of thing is a prophetic situation. We, we've been teaching it behind this work for decades that terrorism is going to increase and increase and increase. And something like that, as it happens, we want to be able to get to you. We want to be able to talk to you out there and to tell the people what's going on because scary things are going on. You can't avoid it. And the Bible actually has answers as to why these things are happening. Right, right. <clears throat> and uh, I, that is one of the hallmarks of God's church is that we're, we're, we're preaching the truth. We're, we're preaching the, the hope, the good news. It's really the only hope that mankind really has, which is Jesus Christ is going to return. He's going to establish God's government, peace, peace you know, the kingdom of God on the earth. But we, we preach the whole truth. And, and part of that message is a warning that 
if our people turn away from God, if our people you know, reject God, reject the Bible, reject his, his laws, uh, God is loving, he's merciful, but we are bringing upon ourselves punishment. We're bringing upon ourselves uh, you know, hatred ar- from around the world. There, there are different nations who obviously look at the United States as being uh, you know, the, the exporter of, of, of lots of bad things, you know, in media and so forth. And there's, 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 there's uh, scriptures, which you know, we, we talked about earlier, about, um, about there, there are prophecies where God says, listen, uh, you know, if you turn away from me, I will appoint terror over you. I will appoint wasting disease over you. Um, you know, there, there will be in Leviticus 26. I've got it up on my computer right here. Uh, that is an Old Testament prophecy, Leviticus 26, verse 16, 17. But that's about the end time as well. It is absolutely also about us at the end time. And God says, if, essentially, if we reject him, then he will appoint terror, which can be translated or interpreted as terrorism. We're seeing terrorism happen. That's what you mm-hmm. just mentioned regarding mm-hmm. London. Um, and then it goes on to say in verse 17 that, you know, if we don't repent, he'll set his face against us and we'll be defeated by our enemies and so forth. Jesus, Jesus Christ said the same thing. A lot of people, they overlook that. Mm-hmm. They, they say, well, the Old Testament has these prophecies that are kind of scary, but, but, but that's not what Jesus Christ talked about. Read the Olivet Prophecy. Jesus Christ talked about a time of terror and tribulation. So we're not here to scare people. We're here to bring the good news of the kingdom of God. Uh, we are very excited. I'm very optimistic about the future, um, but I also am realistic, and I know what Scripture says. I know what's in the news, and what happened in, in London. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's horrible, but um, you know, sadly, we will probably see more of that, and one of our jobs is to explain why these things are happening, give people hope, give people answers, and of course, we do that in the magazine. We do that on the Tomorrow's World telecast, but this is a format where we can do it more rapidly, more real time. Yeah, we've been doing it for a long time. Uh, Mr. Herbert Armstrong went on radio, I don't know, way back in the 30s, I think. I'm not exactly sure of when he went on. Uh, but he was prophesying these things right out of the Bible. Nothing unusual because everybody has a Bible. I mean, if you're at home, even if you don't have an actual book of a Bible, if you're watching this on the Internet, you can go to a lot of different Internet sites and, and find the Word of God. And we've been talking about that in this work for decades and decades and decades. And the technology changes. We went from radio, and now we went to, to TV. And we're still on TV. Tomorrow's World, you can look up our program, tomorrowsworld.org, and we're still on TV. And now this Internet... And it's so interesting because only 10 years ago, if you wanted to broadcast something live to a bunch of people, you'd probably have to pay a tremendous amount of money to do it. Uh, But right now, with Facebook and YouTube, they're opening it up for just about everybody to be able to do this kind of thing, which is really amazing. Yeah, it is. It is. And so one thing we want to do is we want to do a good job. We want to preach the truth, but we also want to ask our audience to help us out, Mm -hmm. right? Because um, you make a good point. Uh, really, anybody can stream live. Uh, you know, um, we've, we've streamed live before. My, my kids can stream. They, they do stream live. My kids do stream live. Probably a lot of our audience has children who stream <laughs> oh, live. My kids do too. So it's not like this oh, yeah. is, uh, you know, so, so, so we, we want help. You know, most importantly, we want God to bless this and for this to go out strong. But there's, there's practical things that, that our audience can do. You can share, um, you know, our Facebook page. You can share the stream. Um, you know, if, if the more people that watch uh, a live presentation on Facebook, the more people that share it, the more Facebook will kind of put you up higher as a, recommend, as a recommendation. And I did, I want to mention just, you know, one or two quick, uh, quick statistics about our Facebook page. Mm-hmm. And these are things that people can kind of look up some of it themselves, but it demonstrates the potential, but also it demonstrates how much more we need to, to reach the world. So I, I, I ran a little report just in the last 30 days. How many, how many times have people shared our content? I was pretty pretty happy with it actually. It was um, about two hundred, uh, sorry, about two thousand five hundred times roughly. So about two thousand five hundred times yeah. people shared our content. Uh, that's pretty. That's you know it's, it's okay. Uh, what is our total reach? How many unique people have seen our our page? Well, it's interesting. Um, if you look at the organic, just people that just stumble across the page, in the last thirty day, thirty days, about one hundred and fifty thousand people. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. We have about two hundred and sixty thousand. I didn't look it up, but maybe 260,000 fans, but about 150,000 people actually read, looked at, commented. But then you look at our, our, um, our advertising reach, and that's about a half a million people. So, you know, that's kind of good. It makes me uh, thankful. 
but how many people are on Facebook again? You know, 1.82 billion. Yeah, getting right. Two billion. <laughs> so oh yeah. We so we we want our audience to to help us out, right? Yeah. Share the content. You know, tell your friends about it. Yeah, I mean, th this is a chance for everyone to get involved in preaching this message. So the Tomorrow's World program is supported by the members of the Living Church of God. And we have somewhere around 10,000 people in our membership, but you're out there watching right now. And if you're watching live, you can hit that share button and you can share this live show with your friends and they might share the live show with their friends. And that's kind of the hope. That's how the Internet sort of connects from one thing to the other. It can only grow. And we need the help of people like you, of who's watching right now. If you're watching right now, you're a little bit of a pioneer because we haven't really done too many live shows. And we want to involve the audience. We want people to comment. We want people to ask us questions. As we go on and we have more of these shows, we'll address some of these questions that you have to us about what's going on in this world and about the coming kingdom of God. Because there's a lot of exciting things about God's truth that the whole world doesn't know and haven't been exposed to and we want to get deep into that and try to help people learn that there is a true way of life that leads to happiness and even in these hard times there's a new world coming soon and it's important that we're here to be able to talk about that right and we we will you know we, we want their questions and uh, I know some questions have come in on uh, on YouTube and Facebook already we're not gonna you know uh, answer those right now but uh, we, we will we will read the questions. We'll, we'll respond to the questions. We, we will incorporate some of the questions into future uh, TW Now shows. Uh, but, you know, we're not just doing this to uh, to hear ourselves talk. We want to talk to you. Right. <laughs> we want right. your questions. So. That's right. Um, so we 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 like to have the show on about every Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern. But that's not a set date because with Facebook, with live, we really do have the, uh, the ability now to go live from anywhere. As you know, if you have a phone and you have Facebook, you can hit that live button and you can go live yourself. So we want to be here when things happen. We've been commissioned to give answers as to what is going on in this world. And this is just a new avenue and an exciting opportunity to be able to discuss that with people who are online. And as it grows, we want you to participate. This video, when it's finished, when we're done going live in just a few minutes, it's going to post onto Facebook and stay there. And you can share it after it posts so that people tonight who didn't even know it was on right now are, can, can go ahead and watch it. It won't be live but they could watch it and in future programs the same kind of thing yep yep, yep. yep. so we would like you to tune in next week at 3 p.m uh, we're going to have mr gerald weston on an evangelist in god's church next week and we're going to talk a little bit more about technology and the gospel because this what we're doing here is something very very new especially for us in the church of god it's something very different and we're really excited about it uh, we know it's going to start small. We have to start small. Not a whole lot of people know that we're doing this, but we are so excited that we have this opportunity to come to you live with the gospel of the kingdom of God. And we've been doing this for many, many, many years, and we're always looking for an open door opportunity. And Facebook Live and YouTube Live is just a new open door that we can explore and try to get more in touch with you. We love you all. We'd appreciate your prayers. We do want this gospel to reach the entire world. We want to warn the world about the tribulation that's coming because there are hard times coming. But out of love, because Jesus Christ loved you all around the world, we have to preach that message. We love you. We hope that you come back. We hope that you share this show. And please join us again next week, Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern on Tomorrow's World Now. So until then, we'll see you soon. So long.